On the second part of this tutorial, I'll show you how to make your animated scene looks amazing. <laughs> Welcome to D Plus Tutorials, the stupid simple way to add another dimension to your work. Let's get started. Today, I'll show you how to use the fake GI project, animate the camera, some basic shading, how to get it back to After Effects for rendering, and some tips for fixing in comp. Here we go back to where it stopped. So we go here, press Command E to open the project. If you want to see the outside without messing your camera, you just click this. So now you're out and you can even see the camera here. What you're going to do today, it's use our, it's use the project I built with the fake GI. I'll show you the project, how it works, and then we we'll add it to this one. Okay. Let's open the fake GI light. Okay, here we are at the fake GI project I built for you. So it looks beautiful. It has no GI. It even doesn't have ambient occlusion. Okay, how I did this. Hidden on this folder, we have a bunch of lights. Like 80 lights. And these lights were built with different colors and different sizes. And all those colors and sizes of these lights are based on this reflection map we have, if you look around. We have a big white light on the top, another white light there, and some floor. Okay, so here is the floor, and here are those white lights on the top and on the back. So, these lights mimic this image I have for reflection. This render is what you're going to expect if you render this with global illumination using this image map as your image source. First I want to show you some quick renders. Okay, here we don't have global illumination. I'm going to turn this off. We are just going to use this area light. And here is how it looks. It's not ugly because we have some reflections, but it's really dark. We don't have nothing, no indirect illumination bouncing back at the lights. If, you're, if we were on a studio, we would probably have something bouncing back. And this is exactly what's going to happen when I add the global illumination. Let's render another frame with global illumination. And here you can see all this light back in, bouncing back from the floor and from each other, really different. A lot more real, right? And a lot brighter because we have more lights kicking in from one thing to another. And here I'm going to turn off global illumination again and add our fake indirect lights. And this is what we got. It's a lot better than this. It's not as perfect as the global illumination because the global illumination has some bounce from the balls and from the objects, one on each other. So it's a lot warmer because it's yellow objects. But as you can see, the contact shadows are pretty much the same. And for a no GI solution, it works really nice. Let's go back to Cinema for Delight. What I want to do here is copy everything. Windows Browser. Let's paste it. Paste it. Yes. I need to fine tune the position of this. Let's see if the animation still works. And go to our, not our camera and change the light from the left right to the left, almost front, almost somewhere in the top. Yeah, it's looking better. The camera is a lot closer to the floor on this one. 
Here's another way to add keyframes. You can just push this button and this will add keyframes to whatever um, attributes are selected here. If both are selected, this will add keyframes to scale and position. Reposition it, make it look down. Let's see if this renders nice. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, so we can add a keyframe for the animation. Let's make it. Okay, I'm rotating the camera a bit, so what I'm going to do is also keyframe the rotation. So adding the rotation keyframe, go closer, maybe down a bit, add this keyframe. Like everything, we start and make what we had done before. So, like the keyframes, make it faster. Clicking on the fake GI light under. It will probably be here, but you can go to user data. I made some custom menus where you can manage the darkness of the shadow, of this indirect illumination, the softness of this shadow, and also the brightness of the lights. So if we just want a hint of indirect illumination, we just get this like 10. And as you can see, this is a lot darker because we just have one light coming down and just some small indirect light. If you want to add a lot, like 90. Okay, it blooms. Don't try 90. 90 doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, this looks nice. And this looks really close to this. The shadows are purple on this. We can add some color. Let's go back to our fake GI project. I had some color here, just grab the yellow one as a base. We don't need this project anymore, just close it. Okay, we can just paste. If we put the color on the top, it will add this to everything below that doesn't have a material. To make this the same color as the reference, We'll just click on color, click on this button, so I can use it to sample some colors. Okay, here is the same controls we use here to navigate, to zoom in and out. So we're just sampling some colors. Like the background has a gradient, comes from this color. We can add another point to this. And another one. This is not like white, so we have one there. This is not exactly that one. This blue one will probably work for all the blues. And this will probably work for all the yellows. Mm, yeah, I think this one is the same as this one. So we can save this palette. You click command and drag and you have a new one. So we can have that one. To that color. Time just okay. Now make a new one. This will be the blue. Blue is here. Blue is here. In the back, again, yellow, yellow's here, yellow's not anymore. Oh, we have oh, this one's here. Okay, for the background, we have this gradient, so I create a new material, standard material, and I'm adding a gradient. Select this color. Let's select this color. Okay, we have a ramp. We don't need specular or reflectance on the background. 
get it there it's on the vertical so the easiest way to fix that is going on the gradient and changing from U to V now it's sideways, it's flipped you can just invert this okay not perfect but a lot better if we want we can go to the main light and not make this not make the shadow completely black not this color too but darker version of this one let me check yeah it's look nice we need to go back to After Effects, so we just save the project, go back to After Effects. Okay, as you can see, it's updated. Okay, for we need current to see the full render. Okay, so let's render this out and see how it looks. Add your render queue. Just click here. To see where you're going to save this and click render the easiest way to put the background you want command E to add it go back and disable the floor you can save go back to after effects and now we have an alpha double click here and add whatever background we want Add some shapes. Okay. Add an adjustment layer and do some blur in the background. We can add whatever background we want. So we can go to this white one. Maybe a gradient fill. Get the colors right from blue to this gradient. Okay, the gradient starts here. We can also add new adjustment layer on top of everything and go to color correction curves just like Photoshop you can add some curves to make it pop and more contrasty so let's get crazy uh, let's try to recreate this or another one and pose for us to see what you did let's share some stuff thanks see you next time